Ladies and gentlemen, this is FIA Championship Equinox and we continue the undercard with the second fight, a catchweight fight up to 80 kilograms. In the blue corner, at the age of 21 years and a height of 1 meter 80 centimeters, weighing in 80 kilograms with a record of 7 fights, 5 wins and 2 losses, representing Team Keru Kento, coming from Romania, is Gavril Laurentio! In the red corner, at 23 years and a height of 1 meter 84 centimeters, weighing in 80 kilograms, with four fights in a record, two wins, one draw, and one loss, representing team thigh boxing, coming from Moldova, Dumitru Kavaluk. This is a catchweight belt up to 80 kilograms. Three rounds of three minutes each, extra one round, K1 rules, referee Vladimir Tseporde. Fighters to the center. You're fighting fair rules, no clinching, no elbows. Protect yourself at all times, obey my commands. Touch your gloves if you want to. Back to your corners. Judge, judge, judge. First round, fight! So here we go. Round Blue one. corner, Laurentiu, and Red corner, Kavluch, Kavluch. Don't blink, people. This could be all action. K1 rules. Uh, two big guys here, and you normally find under the K1 rule set, normally very strong boxing with uh, kicks added on and, and the occasional knees. Both these guys look very strong indeed. Kavluch working that high kick there, responding by Laurentiu with the inside low. Oh, from Kavluch. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Lorenzo gets the standing five. count or the, the count. The series we cover responds with a beautiful left low kick. So, as I said, these guys have got the power to hurt each other, and Kavluch showed that. He's got some power in those hooks. Here he goes, he's looking for it to try and open him up and coming up with a knee. Kavlitz putting on the pressure now. Response from Laurentiu with the inside low. What are you going to find? Kavlitz is going to be doing the punches to the head, followed by the knee to body or head as well. There we go, as I said that, right knee to the body. Kavlitz fancies this now. Left jab followed by the right low kick, then a teep. Those low kicks to the fire really do hurt. Lorenzo firing back. Nice kick from Lorenzo. Lovely classical boxing there from Kabluch. In the red. Seems to have recovered Lorenzo from that knockdown from the hook. And you can bet that uh, Kavluch is looking for that same shot again to try and put him down again and end this fight early. Working boxing to knees with Kavluch, classical K1 style. Spearing right up a cut through the guard of Laurentiu there. He's got to keep his hands up, Laurentiu. A lovely low kick from him. And a nice inside low kick. They hurt. They really do. Looking a bit red and round the eyes is Laurentiu. seconds left in this round. I think he's going to make it to the bell, Laurentiu. He's come back very well indeed. He's working the inside leg on both sides. It's 
started to turn the pressure on now, putting the turbos on is Lorenzo after a rocky start to the fight. Oh. Here we go at the bell. Burns. Came back very well, Lorenzo there. It could have been over. Uh, Kamluch could have put the pressure on and caught him again. Needs to take the maximum refreshment he can get there in one minute in recovery. There was the right hook, yep. From my position, I couldn't see it that well at the time, but I knew it was a hook of some sort. A right hook. Yeah, right on the chin. Yeah, there we go. Lucky to survive that. That's a shot that normally can finish a fight. Shows the power of uh, recovery that Gabriel Laurentiu has. Seconds out. Here we go. I'm looking forward to this round two. Second round. Fight! Round two. Okay, we got a chance again with a powerful right hook. Didn't quite connect on the chin. It was a little bit higher up. That's what he's looking for. When she's got to be moving and keep his hands up and not get caught. That's a good inside low kick. They are stinging shots. And outside the ring. What we've got, what we've got here is Lorenzo working the legs and Kabuch, Kabuch working the hands to great effect. Oh, then he comes up, Kabuch with that right low kick to the fight. Followed by the tape. So we're, we're flowing the weaponry here. Obviously, no elbows in K1. Clinch, no prolonged clinch. You just grab, throw the knee immediately and then release. But this is good K1 rules here, the way they're applying it. Once again, Lorenzo working that right low kick. Kavliuch returns it. Stinging low kick from Lorenzo. He's scoring well. If you look at the leg of Kavliuch inside the left fire, there's a lot of redness there. And on the outside, perhaps. But they go kick for kick. Lorenzo is applying the pressure. Good knee, though, from Kavliuch. Right through the body. Lorenzo's come back into this fight. He's throwing his own hands now, which is a good sign. And he works that inside low again. You can't take too many of them kicks to the legs. Absolutely takes all your um, ability to move well. Kabluch still in the fight. Still throwing that jab well. And the knee. And Lorenzo. Lorenzo's gum shield's falling out. That's okay. Fine. Quickly back in, and they was you. And Lorenzo, when he works his hands or punches to the body, they do score well. And they do hurt. And we go. He comes up with another kick. Much better round here for Lorenzo, I feel. He's come back into this fight after a terrible start in round one, and he's throwing his own hands and grinding confidence. Kavilouch looking a little bit tired, maybe, but we shall see. One more round to go after this. Yeah, he's still throwing his hands, Kavilouch, but Lorenzo, much better round. The only problem that Lorenzo's going to have that he would have lost that first round 10-8 because of the count, because he got knocked down. So, you never know. He had a good round in that round two. Um, depends how free goes. I think that under this rule set here, on this show, they perhaps have an extra round if it's a draw after three. So we'll see. Makes it very exciting if there is an extension round. An extra round. But here comes the final round. So. 
Laurentiu's really got to turn on the turbo thrusters, really put the pressure on, score well. And either try to stop the guy, Kavliuc, or, or get a point. If it goes to the distance, good start from him. Gump shields out again. I think the ref might have to warn him to keep biting down in it. First caution. First caution, as I said. Can't keep letting your gum shield fall out, it disrupts the fight pattern. Fight. He's got some fire in them hands. When uh, Laurentiu throws that, uh, those hooks, they're quite strong punches. Kavliuk seems to have slowed a little bit. Obviously we're in round three, but that was a beautiful knee straight to the body from uh, Kavliuk. That's a very, very good scoring weapon in it. can take the steam out of the opponent, which I think it might have done to Lorenzo. Lorenzo back with a body kick. This is where it all comes about stamina in the final round. What have you got left? Yeah, he's working them legs again. Lorenzo is really working them legs well. There's major damage on Kavliuc's left thigh now as well. You just see it as the short road up. Left thigh of Kavliuc is really yeah. like a big hematoma. Yeah. And we've got another gun shield out this time from Kavliuc. Very interesting fight this one. Fight. That left leg is showing the signs of big damage on Kavliuc's left thigh. And he'll be feeling that. Oh, he's gone for it again, Laurentiu. A oh, beautiful knee return from Kavliuc. These guys are going to feel this in the morning. It's the day after when all the adrenaline's worn off. But Laurentiu's working the hands, a bit of boxing. Coming back now with that low kick again. Very tough fight, this one. Lorenzo is very strong. Both trade low kicks to the fires. And a big right hook from Lorenzo. And again, he's got such good stamina. The way he started and got the put down in round one, the way he's come back is, is magnificent. Stop shield again. He's had a warning. I don't know whether the ref's going to take the point. Second caution. Oh, second caution. He can't do that again, but Fight. we've only got 15 seconds left. Straight on the attack now, Lorenzo. What a change from round one. This is a very interesting fight. I'll be interested to see how the, fight, how the judges score this one. Stop. Great start for no Kavich and Lorenzo. With a good comeback in two and three. Brilliant fight. I personally not to see a round four, but you know, I'm not the one fighting. Stop. Wonderful fight, great fight. So, how would they see it, the judges? That 10 8 in round one, the knockdown for Kabuch may be the deciding factor, but we shall see. Ladies and gentlemen, and here is the judge's decision. The winner of this fight is...
Red Corner, Dumitru Kavluk, Moldova. Yep, it would be the knockdown in round one. That was the big difference there. That 10 8 score was hard for Lorenzo to come back from. That was a very good fight, though. I'll tell you what, the way he came back there, Lorenzo, big respect and two very good fights there indeed.